There we go. Now I've got some Dreamweaver's Crackle Paste. I've got some Inca Gold in the pink. Oops. Let me just see what that one's called. Rose Quartz. I've also got some Vintage Sparkle Glitter. I just got, got it off the internet. I've got some Snow that I might use. I just wanted to do like a... I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to wait and see because I don't know what it's going to be like. Craft Glue for the Snow. I've also got some um, Antique. Um, it's a gel. that I can antique it if I change my mind. Because I can. Some white acrylic paints. I'm using the texturized or texture textures crushed coral. I might use that, I don't know yet. But I've also got some uh, texture magic, so it's dimensional paint. I'm I've got a um stencil. But right now <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm actually going to try something that I haven't done for a while there, so I've got that in there that's my dimensional paint okie dokie and now to that I'm going to add some white oh well yeah white acrylic paint um, so I'm just lightening that a little bit Using my palette knife. Again, if you're a newbie, I suggest you do get yourselves some nice tools to work with because they've got to last you. Don't go buying that cheap rubbish. Although, I have to say, I use the plastic ones as well. I sell them. But um, if you can, invest eventually. I mean, they're great and they're good enough for now, but uh, eventually invest in some good, decent tools. Now, I've added that. Let me just see. I might, or may, should I say, just add a touch of this just to give it a little bit of texture. I want it pretty thick. I will be selling this again. I've sold this for, you know, several times. I will be doing it again. Let's just add that into there. See, it gives the paste a bit of texture. I'm not sure if I've got enough here to do everything. The whole tag. Maybe not. Don't know. <laughs> but we're going to try anyway. Okay, let me just clear, oops, clear some space. So I've done that, move that out of the way because I don't want that all over. Move that. I need to get these, um, sorry, <laughs> I get stuff everywhere. I need to put the tag that way so you can actually see it, I think. Okay, let's get going. And I'm not putting anything on there to start with. I'm just adding the paste straight on. You know, cover that as well. Most of it. Right, we'll just pop that to one side. Look, see, sticky. Get a cloth. And I just need to wipe my palette knife, keep them clean. I do say to everybody to look after your <coughs> excuse me <coughs> tools. It is important. Let's pop that in there for now. Right, I'm gonna dry that off. Right, now we've got that done. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take the Dreamweaver's um, crackle paste. You need your palette knife again. You need... 
a fair bit to be honest of this now I'm not that fussed about the bottom section because that's going to have some lace on it but I do want to do the top section a little bit Uh, I've got a sponge and we need to colour that so we're just going to go over and it gives it that shabby chic I mean it might not end up as shabby chic let's just see as we get along I'll go along should I say I'm just at the moment putting that sheen over the So it's, it's taking the whiteness off and giving it a pink sheen. Now I don't want it smooth. So that's given that, yeah, that texture. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> what I'm going to do now is just to dry that off again. They're not deep enough. When I say that, they're not deep in colour. And I could have done a, a deeper base, but I decided not to do it. How on earth do they expect you to get into these? Hmm. So what I do have is this um, antiquing effect, okay? I know when you're going to say, oh my word, what have you done? Well, I need to get this lid off. There we go. I'm getting blathered in this. <laughs> Let me get this off quickly. I don't want to be stained again, but I know I always end up being stained. Okay. and get some of this and go back over that and give that a shine I think yep because I need the aged look but I'm going to do it well I don't know how I'm going to do it to be honest I really don't I never know what I'm going to do but I like to mix textures and backgrounds and things like that. So, let's just put that to one side. I'm going to dry this off. I think that will do by the time that's dry. Now what I need to do is to use the craft glue. And somebody very kindly sent me this. Right, I'm going to stand you up on end, mate. Keep you going. Right, I've got my little brush. And all I'm doing is I'm just painting the edges. What I'm going to do then is I take my glitter. Uh, just got my glitter pot. Here we go. And 
I'm just going to pour this on. Now I need a dry brush because I haven't, you know, put glue everywhere and it'll just flick off where there's no glue. It's the edging I want. See like that? There. Now that will dry. Clean off my brush. Put that one into soak. Yeah. Now what it's done, I've got like the pink showing through. That will dry shortly. I'm just going to seal that by using the heat gun. It kind of like bakes the glue and then when you take the heat away and it's cooled down it knits itself together with whatever uh, is on it. I know like sometimes the heat um, you can soften glue uh, but once it goes hard again um, it hardens more to what it was. Okay, that will do that, and then that will cool down. Yeah. So I like that. That's a nice textured background, isn't it? Like that. It's just have fun, play around. It's the best way to do it. And I am just because I just want a little bit of it here and there, and I want that more pinkish look to it. And basically I'm not doing too much, mainly around the edges because I think that's where I'll see everything more. Ray, did you want me? I think Ray's just got up. Yeah, that's a that's done a good mix. I mean, it doesn't matter. Some of it's going to be covered up anyway, but that's um, fine with that. And then I'm just going to use a clean water sponge. In fact, what I'm going to do is just add a touch of water to that. Because you can use water with these. You know, with the uh, Inca Gold, you can use it like a paint. And just take off the excess that I don't need. And I'm not going to do it the conventional way. Anyone who knows me knows I ain't conventional, far from it. I'm going to do it about there because that's where I wanted the, like that, that's fine. I'm not conventional at all, I don't do anything by the book. Do you know why? Because you don't have to these days. Art is not like it used to be, where you had somebody saying, oh, you must do this and you must do that. You don't. 
you do what you like. That's the old fashioned way of teaching. And it's definitely not the you know, not the done thing these days. Well, unless she could pay to go to private school and all of that. And they're still sat there telling you what to do. And then you're really all you're doing is if you are um quite arty, um they're blocking you. You know, you're there but they're paying loads of money to be taught something one particular way and that's wrong because your artistic flair goes out the window is the only way I can describe it to be honest and it's wrong what they should be teaching is to use what you feel like to express what you have inside I've just found the perfect one and this is on the printed canvas that I did I just love that image let me just see Some lace, that's what I was looking for. Here we go, I've got my lace. I'm going to probably do two or three layers of this. Um, I'll just cut the end off, I like it nice and tidy on the end. Um, and glue, look, somebody sent me a glue stick from a company. <laughs> so I'm going to use it because I need to. It might not be any blooming good. Oh, that's why. <sighs> There we go. Now, I should have gone from the bottom to the top because I should, but I didn't. And I'm just snipping that off for now and we'll do this again. <laughs> we'll do it again. Yep, get up there. I'm going to put another layer on. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is to lay all that down. So, and to do that, just catch each one a little bit tiny smidgen of glue on there and that just holds that down and a tiny smidgen of glue on that and that will just hold that down I'm going to turn mine upside down to cut it like that, take the excess away yeah see you don't need much Um, I've got some of the beaded trim left, which I'm now going to use across the top. Mm. 
like so. Come on, Fee. See, I got disturbed. <laughs> it's when you. That's it, that'll do. Now, I'm going to use this trim to make myself my flower, of course, you know. I have to have my flowers on there. Nice flounce in it. So, I'm just going to do mine at that. Deke, is that you, honey? Yeah. Can you just bring my coffee in for me? I've left it, sorry. In the kitchen, darling. Thank you. Yeah, that's my eldest one just got up, eldest grandson. We loved the party yesterday. I'm going to put the video up and the pictures. It was Jamie Lee's 13th. Thank you, darling. I don't need the spoon if you just give it a stir. No, I, was just I uh, needed the uh, sort your granddad out because he's gone out. Do you drink it? I'm filming, do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Not on there, love, thanks. How dare you? Yeah. Right. Like I say, um, breakfast, washed, dressed, then you can go on your computer. Yeah. In that order, please. He's 15 this year. Oh my word. Time flown. If I live as long as my grandmother on my father, my, my dad's mum, um, will I be happy? Yes, of course I bloody will. She was 104 when she died. My grandma. I loved her. Loved her to pieces. But, you know, sadly, they don't last forever, and uh, they're gone all too soon. Even though she had a hundred years, they're still gone all too soon from you. And sad, so very sad. Right, I've just got some flowers. Um, see, I've got a beautiful flounce in there that lays... I mean, it doesn't lay flat, flat, but it lays out properly. Um, and I've just got some of these gorgeous flowers that I'm going to add to that. Here we go. Not that one. I just want this to look really pretty. And if that means adding quite a bit of bling, then we do that, don't we? Like that. Up there. We'll just use a bit of bling just here. 